In this tutorial, we will go over the changes and improvements that have been done in Rhino CFD 2.1. Let's start with the post processing menu, which has been redesigned. We hope that users will find this easier on the eye and much more intuitive. In the menu, you will find all of the previously available options such as color maps, type of um, cut plane, maximum and minimum variables and so on. However, we have introduced some new features in here such as average, displaying averaged and non-averaged results, the ability to invert the color scheme, options to show maximum and minimum points, hide values outside of the range, let's give an example over here, everything that was outside of uh, 10 pascals gets now truncated away. Another option to change the opacity and to change the specular reflection on the cut plane. Let's have a look at this example where we have two cut planes, one horizontal and vertical. With the appropriate specular reflection, we can see a clear line distinguishing the two cut planes. However, in the previous version, without any specular reflection, these two cut planes would have been indistinguishable. Like so. Let's look at an another application of specular reflections with isosurfaces. As we can see with this isosurface, as we move around, we get a perception of depth in it. While if we reduce the specular reflection, we lose that sense of depth. When it comes to exporting data from Rhino CFD, we have two options, either as a .csv file or as a Rhino object or a .plyy file. Let's have a look at an example with a text file. So in this case we have two cut planes in there. So we'll call this CP1. And now we'll be prompted to save the second one, CP2. And this is the structure of the text file. You have the metadata over here and here is your data. At every point your corresponding pressure value. To export data as a Rhino object, we simply change this and hit export. And these are our open meshes that can be copied into other Rhino instances and used for post-processing purposes. We have also made changes to how vectors are displayed in Rhino 2.0. Users will notice that the arrows are now much slender and they load faster than the previous arrows which were bulkier and had more facets in their uh, draw call. They are still available here as a legacy option for those who need them for uh, display purposes. However, keep in mind that they do take a bit longer to load.